Hi, I'm Katie Colleton. And I'm Katie O'Brien. Be sure and subscribe to Hollywire. And watch Teachers Tuesday, 10.30, 9.30 Central. What's up, Hollywire? Today, we are in the studio with the Katies. <laughs> Hi. 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 <laughs> We were just talking and you guys said you you wrapped season three and you celebrated by jumping in a pool mm -hmm. with all your clothes. We <laughs> did, yes. We wrapped Saturday at midnight and after the final scene was done, we all ran to the pool on our set and jumped in fully clothed, s s waited for like 10 minutes and then got out. <laughs> yeah, and when we say all of us, it actually was like seven people. <laughs> It wasn't the whole crew. We tried to get everybody, and everybody's like, we're good. And we were like, okay. It felt like a, an old school, that scene where he's like, we're going streaking. Yeah, yeah. We were like, we're going to the pool. And then five people showed up out of like 100. But you still like, committed. We oh, committed. fully. Yeah, we jumped in. We this were one went down the slide that didn't have any water, so ouch. Oh, and I'm a wild babe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys just filmed with a bear? Yes. Yes. We just filmed with a, a bear, a full-blown bear. <laughs> I think he was like nine feet tall and 800 pounds. Mm -hmm. His name was Tag. Tag. He lives in the Los Angeles area. <laughs> and he works a lot. We had to work around his schedule. He booked a commercial. Oh, he looks like crazy. And it was like, oh my God, this bear has done more than I have. Yeah, this bear has more credits than any of us. Is yeah. he part of the SAG union? Probably. How does that work? <laughs> no. I don't but know it was it was funny. Of All of us had really different reactions to filming with a bear. Yeah. Some of us thought it was cute and cuddly. Some of us were really terrified. I was terrified. I was like, this is a bear. And everybody was like, what's the problem? And I was like, it's a bear. Like, this is crazy. Yeah, it could have killed us at any moment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And if, if the bear only knew. Yeah. If it only knew. So the reason we were filming with a bear, which I feel like we should explain, is <laughs> We've really wanted to do a gun control episode, but we didn't know how to do it. And so uh, we finally figured out a fun and funny way. And um, so a neighbor moves in across the street who owns a bear. And the teachers are like, don't you think it's a little unsafe that a bear lives across the street? Like what if it breaks into the school? And it really maps gun control and gun laws pertaining to schools. And uh, so we wrote this episode, never thinking we would get a bear. And then the bear came and showed up. We got the bear. We, we got, got tag. Tag the bear. Yeah. Tag the bear. Tag the bear. Do you guys like to bring in sort of topical subjects into your show? Because it's funny. Well, I think we feel that, you know, this is like kind of doing the show, getting to executive produce, write and act is like a dream come true. And with that platform comes like a responsibility of like if we're going to write 50 episodes and we're going to put all this stuff out there, yes, we want to do fart jokes. But you also want to try to say something. Um, so we've done a lot. We've done like a, a breast, you know, breastfeeding in public episode where you know people have such an issue with that, and we kind of satirize it. And we have girls, and, girls getting into math and science more. Um, we do. A, we had like a whole slut election episode where my teacher runs and is completely slut shamed. So yeah, we try to always do something a little political, social each season. Okay, we're gonna play a very, very quick game. So it's. Ooh. The yearbook most likely to. Oh. oh. Who's most likely to fail an exam? I feel like I'll say myself. <laughs> I'll be honest. I feel like I'm most likely to fail because I feel like I'd go in with the attitude of I'll be fine and then look at it and be like, oh my god, I'm screwed. I would say you're most likely to not know there was an exam, For sure. show up confused, but then still do well. Okay, okay, okay. That's that's who she is. Okay. I'm most likely to have known about it, studied hard, and still get a B. <laughs> yeah, I would have rather been you in school. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's the way to go. Who is the most likely to laugh at a serious moment? Oh, yeah, I would say for me. sure. Yeah, for I laugh sure. at all points where it's inappropriate. She'll laugh at all of our funerals. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yay, but yeah. she'll be so uncomfortable. Uh, who is the most likely to die first in a zombie apocalypse? We've actually talked about this. Yeah, in uh, group. I think we said Barlow. Barlow, Barlow would die Barlow first. Would die hands first. Down. Bye, she'd Barlow. Be, <laughs> yeah, she'd be dead right away. And I think we've said you or Thomas would survive it. Yeah. Yeah, I think Thomas, she's really good at CrossFit. I feel like she'd somehow jump sure. over things. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, most likely to flirt on set. Oh. <laughs> I think. <laughs> you just got no. called out. I am <laughs> she's very friendly. I didn't tell I'm a friendly person. She's a friendly person. I'm a friendly person. Yeah, I'm like dead inside and cold. <laughs> and she's very friendly and like yeah, chatty. Good. And I'm like, hey, what's up? I chat with everyone. Yeah. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah, yeah, it's her. <laughs> I like that. Hey, 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 hey. Amazing, well, so lovely having you guys here. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys. Uh -huh.
Be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and watch the next video. Bye.